hello everybody uh, today i'm going to show you how you can use uh, unreal engine toolbar option uh, for your game you can see in here is uh, many option uh, this is the, the save current level you see we have uh, multiple level in here in this project for example currently we are using third person map this map so sometimes when we work in the level we need to change uh, the level we need to save the level so I'm changing the value of uh, location. So if I click uh, save all, you can see there is a save option. There is a third person map. We need to save a actor, uh, cancel it. Now if we use a save current level, this level will be save. We can save it by control S. And now if we save all, there is no need to save anything because everything is save. Now we can use this uh, selected mode. Uh, selected mode. Uh, in this uh, this mode, we can select the object. If we go to the landscape, uh, we can create landscape and change uh, the landscape. I'll show you later about this option. But uh, this is just a preview. We can create a big landscape. Sometimes we need to create a big landscape for uh, our game you see uh, many games have big environment big, big landscape so unreal engine uh, give uh, they have their own uh, landscape option we can make changes by that so this is the landscape we can sculpt it we can modify it we can add tree we can add road we can do what we whatever we prefer so this is the flutter so we can uh, flat it we can smooth our landscape we can paint it i will show about the landscape function detail so now is foliage uh, our label need to add many grass rock and object like that if we add it manually it will take many time so we can add it like painting so we have a we have a bush in our starter content so we i i so if we want to add it in this level we can add it just add in foliage there is a foliage uh, object created now we can use this function for example i can use fill function and if i click any object uh, the foliage will be created on the top of it so uh, grass created here so if we go to paint we can paint our uh, bush like that using the uh, mouse left button uh, so we can use this quick add button import content quick gel bridge uh, we can use quick gel content here quick gel have 13,000 uh, plus uh, stand content high quality you can use this content in your game so there is a content browser we can use content browser i show it to you there is a basic actor uh, uh, basic pawn uh, starter player starter we can use player starter uh, uh, we can use player starter in our game wherever the player starter our player will start from there so there is also lighting uh, directional light point light spotlight uh, and other light i just create a point light and from detail i can uh, change the color you can see the color is changing Uh, from there there is a lot of option also we can add the shape cube uh, spare i just uh, create a spare uh, there is a cinematic we can use cinematic uh, option here create cinema and capture the uh, environment there is a visual effect there is a volumes there is all class uh, there is a actor from panel there is a place actor the same functionality but we can use it from here previous unreal engine have feature like that uh, so we can use it from here also there is a geometry geometry have uh, worked in here i will show you about the geometry in detail uh, there is uh, also uh, many option here there is a blueprint we can uh, new blueprint class we can open blueprint uh, we can open level blueprint we can change the game mode we can change our character game mode character so if we open uh, the uh, level blueprint 
we can use our level blueprint uh, for our uh, benefit we can add many code here for example i add a billion play and i add a print screen uh, that uh, write that welcome to the game in uh, blue font blue text uh, i can change the color also if i compile and save and if i play there is a red welcome to the tutorial so we can use the level blueprint for our own benefit uh, there is also uh, sequence we can use uh, this sequence to make uh, animation movement animation uh, now i will show you how you can open a project uh, first of all you can open the project using epic launcher in library you can see i'm in library tab and in my project I, uh, you can search your uh, project name it will open uh, my project name is banla third person so just type it banla third person here is my project uh, there is two of it but one is mine so just double press and open otherwise right button and open open folder create a shortcut your choice the second option is uh, go to files and for open project search your project name or just double click on your project or you can select your project and uh, click open on the bottom and the third option is uh, go to your project link my project was in desktop i go inside my project and if i double click if you double click uh, the icon this icon uh, the project will be open i have a uh, two engine install so i can switch my engine if you have multiple engine you can switch it i have a uh, 5 and uh, 4.27 uh, so this is how you can open your project and there is a play option we already use this green play option if we click we can just play the game there is also other option uh, with this option we can use in simulation mode there is a mobile preview there is a new editor window there is simulation there is a standalone game so if we play with the new window it will create a new window and if we, you have multiple monitor it will help you for that and there is a simulation now this is the simulation we can stop it move the frame and we can stop the simulation Uh, but I prefer to use it on a viewport uh, if you have different preference now there is a, a platform option we can export our game like Android HoloLens iOS Linux and other option Windows there is a, a project launcher device manager project settings we can go project settings with that and change the project setting as we prefer there is a supported platform but currently this support all the platform mobile android uh, ios windows so we can select a object and change if we change the detail value and rotation it will rotate x y and z axis now this is the use of unreal engine inter interface you can use that uh, so uh, just place the uh, play start from here uh, windows open the uh, just export it, it for uh, desktop uh, for windows uh, i just build i just create a folder name build and i create another folder name windows this will be for this will export for windows i just select the folder and it just export the export is finished there is a ehc file created if we double click it our game will be open so you can uh, create your own game change your character and export your game for testing purpose now you are uh, also game developer so see you in next tutorial